Hello and welcome to this Revit 2022 for MEP new features video. My name is Ian Garwood and I'm a consultant here in the professional services team at Symmetry. In this video I'll be covering the Mechanical Systems Analysis Loads Report, a new feature allowing engineers to get more detailed outputs related to loads and psychrometrics of the analytical systems created within Revit. After performing a systems analysis in Revit, the properties of the analytical spaces in a Revit model will display mechanical flow and energy analysis data based on a range of previously determined information from areas such as energy settings, analytical systems, material thermal properties and Revit space properties. In earlier versions of Revit, a complete summary of the heating and cooling loads information, including an equipment summary, HVAC sizing and coil sizing was presented in a detailed report. Revit 2022 introduces a new loads report that presents the heating and cooling loads for zones and systems in a format that's easy to navigate and that also displays the psychrometric information for any system in the project containing a cooling coil. After creating the initial report, the style can be switched between the original detailed report and the new loads report. Initially, the loads report is divided into three sections, zone load summary, system load summary, and design psychrometrics. The report units can be set, and the report can be printed to PDF. Within the zone load summary area of the report, the zone equipment can be selected, and the report can be toggled between cooling and heating. Peak environmental conditions are displayed for both heating and cooling with values for outside and for within the zone, along with a range of quick engineering checks. The main section of the table totals the gains from the building envelope, the internal gains and the gains from the systems. The percentage contribution for each load component is displayed at the end of the table. Finally, a series of pie charts help to graphically display the peak heating and cooling loads and a breakdown of the contributions from cooling load components such as solar, equipment and people. The system load summary area of the report is similar to the zone load summary but references the analytical air system created for the project and here named AHU. It contains information about the peak environmental conditions, can be toggled between heating and cooling loads and also includes information on the air temperature at different points in the system and the flow rates for the main fan and for ventilation. The design psychrometric section of the report relates to the analytical air system and associated cooling coil created for the project. It includes a summary and a psychrometric chart plotting information relating to the dry bulb temperature and humidity ratio of the air at each point in the system. The table beneath the report displays the remaining psychrometric information needed to understand the condition of the air within the analytical system based on the type of system, the project material thermal properties, Revit space properties, and the project location. As changes are made to any of these contributing factors, a new systems analysis will produce an updated report showing the changes to zone loads, system loads, and to the psychrometric information for the analytical systems defined in the project. Engineering design changes can be made quickly and the results reviewed in a series of easy to navigate tables and charts. 